This is just a really quick lesson about practicing the right hand on its own for classical guitar. This is often an overlooked thing in classical guitar because of course it's much more fun on our instrument to play the notes that are fretted with the left hand and to hear those harmonies emerge and those melodies emerge. So when we play open strings with our right hand alone, um, of course we end up just hearing the, the, mm. just the sounds of the open strings. But that said, we need to use both of our hands just to play basic notes on classical guitar. And because the left hand can be so complicated on our instrument, having an organized right hand, a right hand that kind of does its job automatically, or at least we can tell it what to do and then it does its job, that's a very useful thing and it's something you should really consider. Getting this hand to work a little bit more on autopilot so you can focus maybe more on the left hand. And another thing I'll say is that lots of students just simply um, have lots of right hand problems, you know, whether that be repeating fingers, um, just maybe just sloppy technique um, or tone or something like that, and, and just like focusing your attention onto the right hand alone um, can be very helpful. So let me talk about a couple of different things that I'd recommend. Um, first thing, I recommend practicing open string exercises. So for example, like my technique book has 100 open string exercises at the beginning. And you don't have to get my book to do this. Um, you can easily like come up with your own exercises, but like I wanted for a dedicated 100 exercises just for open strings on the right hand. So students could really focus on it and really get it together. And you know, so for exercises, you could um, think about the different ways that we play guitar. So for scale passages, you could be thinking just um, alternating fingers across the strings. With rest stroke and free stroke, all the different types of techniques might also be an opportunity to find out if you're not very strong at one of the techniques like if your rest strokes aren't as good as your free strokes maybe it's time to focus your attention on rest strokes in the right hand um, and of course different finger combinations like using ma fingering and alternating those and making sure that those are just as confident as i am you know i get lots of questions asking like how can i play tremolo fast or arpeggios fast well, sometimes my answer is to practice MA scale work because if you don't have control over those fingers, how are you supposed to play more complicated things like tremolo really fast if you can't just do a basic scale with MA? So going over multiple exercises, and it's not just about going through the strings. You can also bypass strings. You could jump strings because lots of students have um, troubles with accuracy hitting the wrong strings, essentially, is the problem, right? So you could practice jumping a string. going back and forth across the strings like that. Other students have troubles with awkward string crossings. Sometimes we have a nice string crossing, which would be like I on the B string and M on the E string. That's a normal string crossing. An awkward string crossing would be M on the B string, I on the E string, where the I has to reach over. You know, and like sometimes students will fumble with awkward string crossings, so it's an opportunity to tackle that. Um, you can also practice arpeggios, right? With moving thumb if you want. Arpeggios um, that start on a different finger, so you can work on balance, so like I finger accent. I, 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 I. Or M finger accent. accent. Uh, there's so many different patterns. Like my, I have 100 exercises, but I had to trim that down. I could have easily done 200 open string exercises. No problem, right? Um, because there's endless combinations. Um, another op opportunity would be like the Giuliani 120 right hand studies, right? Um, those only use two chords, so it's kind of nice, like, you do have a left-hand element, but there's only two chords, so you get pretty good at those two chords. And then you go through 120 uh, different combinations of arpeggios. Um, but you can actually take any Giuliani arpeggio and turn it into an open string exercise. If your Giuliani arpeggio is like... Well, 
you can easily do that on open strings, just take the left hand out of the equation. So um, there's lots of options in that way. Uh, one thing you might want to check out is I actually have a, a four part, four? <laughs> a four part um, video lesson on right hand fingering, um, ways to choose right hand fingerings and the decisions made in that process. So you might want to check that out. There's a link for that under the video. Um, another thing you can do is you can write out your pieces. Um, I'll show you an example right now um, of a picture of, of Lagrima by Tarega and, and underneath on tablature, I've written out the right hand fingering. So because tablature has six lines, you can write P-I-M-A on those six lines where your fingers are supposed to go. Especially for complicated passages that you can't quite just do by looking at it. Um, I think Joel Thompson or Mike uh, Ibsen uh, posted a picture of them doing this and it was like a very useful tip. And so I was, I was checking that out. Um, but it's a, that's a good idea. Like if you have a real tricky passage and you just can't practice the right hand on its own with, because it's too complicated to work out, just write it out on, ta on a tab paper. Um, the other thing about like practicing on open strings is that you want to develop good habits, right? You don't always want to like do specific fingerings. Like in the RCM, the Royal Conservatory Books in Canada, um, you see a lot of like very specific fingerings for the right hand. A lot of very specific, like starting on this finger and then using this finger, then using this finger to avoid awkward string crossings. And um, and they're right. Like if you want to work out the perfect fingering for a piece, sometimes you gotta you gotta choose a, like a weird combination and like be very specific. So that's um, I applaud them on that. But on another level, like students do need to be able to like just play awkward string crossings sometimes. And so sometimes like having good habits in your right hand. Are, is more important than working out the perfect right hand fingerings. And practicing all those habits on open strings is a very fast avenue to getting better instead of doing it with complicated or well, complications from the left hand. So um, that's kind of my like my um, advice or my thoughts at least on, on practicing the right hand separately and why it might be important. Um, just to give an example um, you know, of a repertoire piece, let's do that Lagrima piece. So you all know this piece. I use this piece in a lot of videos because um, it's just a standard piece that lots of people know. And um, it also utilizes some nice sweet spots on the guitar. It's like a nice um, piece to test out new instruments with and, and microphones and stuff like that. I finger that with a on the top and I on the B string. You could also use M on the B string. I don't know why I'd use I, but anyway, um, if I take the left hand out of that, it just sounds like this. So that's that part. And then this part is A, M, Sounds on open strings, not as enjoyable to listen to, but good practice. So, now if you're practicing a passage like that and you have any kind of trouble, it's a simple passage, but like if you have any kind of trouble playing it on open strings, like the balance is wrong, or your right hand stumbles, or sometimes you hit a wrong string then of course, practice it on open strings until it's really solid. Get this hand um, working on automatic pilot. So you can see in that passage, like um, you just have to be really solid and, and you want this hand to really know what it's doing. If there's any confusion, you just wanna iron that out. So that's my basic advice is to practice your right hand on its own. Um, there's a link for my method book or my technique book underneath the video, but you can, you can turn your own, all your technique books can be turned into um, open string exercises by simply playing them on the open strings.